Good day everyone. Welcome to this week's class. Now, get your study materials and find a quiet place to study. For this week's lesson, we will discuss about health appraisal procedure. So, these are the learning targets. Number one, explain the proper health appraisal. Number two, demonstrate a health appraisal procedure during adolescence in order to achieve holistic health. And number three, avail, the, avail of health services in the school and the community in order to appraise one's health. So, ano nga ba ang health appraisal? So, health appraisal, series of procedures conducted as a part of a health service program to assess and monitor your health condition. So, sa madaling salita, ito ay ang regular na pagkukonsulta sa doktor para mabantayan ang kalagayan ng ating kalusugan. So, ginagawa rin ito sa mga paaralan sa umpisa ng taon. So, during health appraisal, school health personnel perform check-ups and screening tests on the student and record the result. So, sino-sino nga ba o sino, sino ba ang sinasabi nating school health personnel? Sila ay ang ating school doctor, nurse, and dentist. So, what are the health procedures that can be done to assess and monitor our health? Let's discuss them one by one. Two phases of stress. So, the first one is weight and height measurement. This is a simple but very important procedure. Ang dating timbang at tangkad ay mga indikasyon ng ating nutrition. So, this test is administered to find out if the student are growing and developing normally and healthy. Weighing and height scale are used in these procedures. Second is the vision test. Napakahalaga na malaman natin ang kondisyon ng ating mata. The internal structures of the eye are observed by the doctor through a ophthalmoscope. So you can also undergo visual acuity test where the Snellen chart is used. Ito ay para malaman kung kailangan mo na ng salamin sa mata. Third is hearing test, which is done to check our ear's health. So there are different materials used to measure hearing ability. Usually, doctors use audiometer to determine hearing sensitivity to different frequency. So a, verb, a vibrating tuning fork is, a, or is also used to determine if you can hear ringing sound and Otoscope is used to check the internal structure of our ears. So, mahalagang alagaan natin ang ating pandinig tulad ng pag-aalaga natin sa ating mata. Next is dental examination. Alam ko naman na alam nyo na kung ano at para saan ito. This is administered to detect any dental defect and to promote dental hygiene. Doing this can prevent us from having other problems regarding our oral hygiene. The next one is health examination, which is like the general examination done to check our health condition. Your body temperature, pulse rate, heartbeat, blood pressure, and blood type are checked to see if your heart and blood vessels are healthy and functioning well. So, hindi lang ito para sa matanda, para ito sa lahat dahil tayo ay kailangan maging malusog. Now, these are additional health appraisal procedures which can be done. Breast self-examination for girls and testicular self-examination for boys. I want you to emphasize the word self, meaning to say it is done by you. These additional health appraisal procedures are done to check for possibilities of disorders or cancer. 
Since we are now in the middle of the pandemic and we cannot get this health appraisal procedure in school, you can still avail this at your community's health centers. Just be careful and follow proper procedure. So napaka-importante na mabantayan natin ang ating kalusugan dahil sa panahon ngayon. So ito lamang ang ating pinakayaman sa sarili natin. So that's it for today. I hope you learn a lot. I'll see you next meeting. Goodbye and God bless.